Hello, let me show you how to download, install, and configure LT Spice in this video. And then we can do some examples and some tutorials. So you go to Linear, this is the page for Linear Technology, and you click on Design Support. They have a section for Design Simulation, the Design Simulation page, with a lot of very good resources, one of which is the LT Spice 4, for which you have here. Now, this is a hyper performance spy simulation simulator. It also has a schematic capture, waveform viewer, etc. You have it for Windows as well as for Mac. In this tutorial, and the following tutorials, I'm going to show you how to work with LTS Spice for Mac, simply because there are not a lot of resources. For Windows, if you're using Windows, I just recommend that you go to the CMOS EDU. You click on LT Spice, and then you have for LT Spice, oops, a set of tutorials here. These are five videos that go from installing to doing operating point analysis, uh, transient analysis, AC analysis, DC sweeps, doing models, subcircuits, etc. So they are great. And I'm going to do something similar. So let's go ahead and download LT Spice for Mac. You can either register a, a, and create a MyLinear account or just download it without registration. It takes very little. This is going to take under one minute. It's just, I mean, it's a very powerful software, but it only um, the size is around 30 meg. Before I leave this page, I just wanted to let you know that you have some good resources here. Um, a flyer with shortcuts for Windows, shortcuts for Mac, those are useful, especially on the Mac, because you do not have a toolbar. You have a, a, a getting a started guide. You have a channel with a lot of videos, as well as you have a very good collection of circuits, demo circuits. So now that we download it, let's go ahead and do the installation. When you click on that. On, in Finder, you're going to find that you have a mounted um, drive. And all you have to do is just drag LT Spice the app to your applications folder. You need admin privileges to be able to do this operation and that's it. Simple as that. So you just go to Spotlight and you do L LT Spice, you can just launch it. Or go to Applications and launch it. Okay. This is the welcome screen to LT Spice on a Mac. Typically, you're going to either open an existing schematic or start a new blank schematic. And this is it, this is what you get. Now, you think that this is not working, it is working, you just have to, it does not have a toolbar, you have to right click, or just with two fingers, press, in order to add the components, add the wires, add the spice directives, etc. Something that you're going to see is that I recommend to configure this in the control panel, and go to configuring the colors, by default, uh, the defaults look like this, which especially if you're going to be creating uh, reports, uh, using this, both the schematic capture to create circuits and then the waveforms, also to put the results in papers, in presentations, etc. The gray does not look good, the blue does not good, look good. Uh, in the waveform, the defaults come like this, so you will have a lot of black. What I recommend is to just go one by one to put this, the background white, and then um, the wires black, the components black, the devices can have a little bit of gray, and they work from the same. I recommend that you change the, the color uh, to white, and then the signals, black and white, you can have some color, but that's that's it. This is what I, I recommend. 
So with that, if you wanna see a grid, you can click in on Mac, you just use two fingers, and uh, you can show the grid dots, okay? And let's start with a very simple circuit, like a voltage divider, um, and look at um, how you will do that. So right-click, draft, component. Here is where you have the components. Something that uh, it is fast to, faster to do in LTSPICE is to do the wiring first, meaning you go ahead and you wire the circuit. Let's imagine that we are going to do something like this, a wire. This is how my circuit is going to work. I'm going to put a pulse supply, the resistor, and then another resistor. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm going to put the, the resistor, the, the components. So I go to components. If you type R for resistor, we'll get your resistor. Now to move it around, you can do Control R, and if you place it, automatically cuts the wire for you. And that's why I recommend that you do the wiring first. Control R. There you go. <laughs> Go to the voltage source, so right click, draft component, type voltage, got it, plug in there. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit larger so you can see it better. Okay. Now we are going to need to put a ground. So you can, in draft, go to na net name, and here you have for a ground, a global ground, here and here. I'm going to write some nodes also. Net name, I'm going to call be in this node here, and I'm going to call another one. Okay, right click, draft, name, or just press F, F4, the output, here. Okay, so we have done the schematic. Let's put some values. You right click, and um, I'm going to say this is 1K. So I'm going to do just a voltage divider with two resistors of equal value, 1K. Right click, 10 volts. Oops, I have to put 10 volts. If you wanna move things around on edit, you have move and drag. So I can drag this around, so my V1, etc. Okay, most people, when they start working with LTE Spice on Mac, Say, well, how do I do the analysis? You don't have a toolbar. Same thing, right click on draft, you have this spice directive, okay? And so let's imagine I wanna do a transient analysis. You need to know the spice name, so transient analysis, transient, uh, so time domain analysis for 10 milliseconds, for instance. Go ahead, put it here. I'm going to run it, get my plot, and now I can start uh, looking at voltages. So here I have a constant voltage, voltage at 10 volts. Let's look at the output. We expect that this is going to be five volts. There you go. Now, because of the automatic adjusting, you don't see this very well. So let me make sure that I put the top is 20 volts, the bottom is zero volts. And so we see, okay, we are doing a transient analysis, meaning we are looking at the circuit as a function of time. Okay. Now, if you, I recommend that you just learn um, how to do an operating point analysis, a transient analysis, a DC sweep, an AC analysis, etc. These are very simple. Uh, but if you don't want to learn them, 
you can um, right click and if you right click and you go to help me edit you have this analysis command where it can basically do this for you okay transient analysis what is the stop time and it does the syntax for you okay it tells you the also the syntax so the time stop ac analysis it will tell you well this is the syntax you can select decade so decade number of points that you have per decade 100 points or whatever thousand points first frequency one hertz 10k i creates it for you this is sweep noise analysis dc transfer etc but this is much faster if you know a couple of spice directives so let's go ahead and um, make this a little bit more interesting by replacing R2 with a capacitor. So I'm going to click Edit, Delete, so I can it, Draft, Component, click on C, I got the capacitor, put in there my capacitor, I'm going to complete the wiring, Okay, and I'm going to do this like one micro. Now this is a low pass filter, right? With a cutoff frequency equal to one over two pi RC. And so you can do the calculation there very, very fast. If I go ahead and um, do a time domain analysis, what you're going to see at the input and the output, because this is going to be an open at DC, is that this is exactly the same. I'm going to make sure that I put this the 20 and 0, right? At DC, the capacitor is an open. Fine. So let's go ahead and do an AC and actually let's do a transient analysis with a sinusoidal input. For that, you right click, you go to advance. Instead of DC va a value, you choose sine, do an offset of zero, an amplitude of 10, and a frequency of, I'm going to do one kilohertz for now. Run it. There you go. You get your input, and you get your output with the attenuation uh, that uh, you es we expected. Now let's do an AC analysis, so we uh, see the body plot, determine the cutoff frequency. For that I'm going to do an AC amplitude of 1, a phase of 0, and I need to remove my transient, and instead I'm going to do an AC analysis. That AC, and this is going to do 100,000 points and then 1 to a 10K. Oops. Let me just actually show you here. I had a, I needed to put the decibel. I'm going to show you. First time that you're using it, you may want to go through the command windows and learn the syntax. So decades, how many points per decade? I'm going to say it's like thousand. Start frequency, one. Stop frequency, I'm going to do um, 10K. And so the syntax is that AC in decades, number of points per decade, 1,000, one start frequency, 1 hertz, and then 10 kilohertz. Okay. Let's run it. And there you go. We got our frequency response. Let me go ahead and um, take out, I'm going to right click on this axis, 
and uh, don't pl plot the face for now. And in this axis, you can select whether this is a body plot, a Nyquist, a Cartesian. We are typically going to do a body plot. Whether you want it in linear, logarithmic, or decibel. Typically, we are going to do de decibel. But let me show you how this will be in linear. Right. So this is what you expect the output to be at a particular frequency. You have cursors. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. You can right-click anywhere in the graph, inside the graph. If you right-click by pressing with two fingers, you can add a grid. And then you can actually have the cursors to look, and you can also toggle the, the cursors. Now, if you click at the top, you can do expressions if you want. And you can see the available data that you can plot. Okay, so voltages, currents, etc. any other node that you wanted to plot. Let me, again, delete the face. Now, something that you can do, you right click, you can add another plot. For instance, if you wanted to add at the top, the magnitude at the bottom, the frequency. The current through the capacitor, what's going on? Okay. If you want to delete something, right click, you can go to edit, cat, or just press F5 and cut anything that you don't want. Okay. Now, when you have the plot, after doing an AC transient analysis or DC sweep analysis, you actually have a probe. So, there you go.